Prior to measuring some angles, let's have a look at the basic angle definitions. Shown here in red in the top left hand corner, we've got an acute angle. And an acute angle is one that measures between 0 and 90 degrees. An angle which is exactly 90 degrees is referred to as a right angle, and that's shown here in the bottom left hand corner. An angle which is between 90 and 180 degrees is referred to as obtuse, and that's shown here in purple in the bottom right hand corner. An angle which is exactly 180 degrees is referred to as a straight angle, and that's shown in the bottom left hand corner here. And an angle which is bigger than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees is referred to as a reflex angle, and that's shown here in blue in the top right hand corner. Let's have a look at how we measure an acute angle using a protractor. The first thing we do is get the centre of the protractor, and that's the baseline that we're talking about here, and put it on the vertex of the angle. What we then do is align one side of the protractor so its baseline matches one of the lines or rays of the angle. And we make sure that that line aligns with zero degrees on the protractor. You'll notice that there are two numbers at the base on the left and right hand side of the protractor, zero and 180. What we do is we find where the zero is on our angle and that means that we're going to use the inside number in this case to measure our angle. Then what we do is we go to the other line or ray of the angle and find out where that matches on our protractor. And in this case that matches approximately 77 degrees. So we're using the inside number starting from zero around to where the second ray of our angle matches the protractor, which you can see there inside the green oval shape. We'll have a look at how to measure an obtuse angle now. The first thing we'll do is we'll take the base of the protractor so that its centre is matching the vertex of the angle. Once we've done that, what we then need to do is rotate our protractor so that the base of the protractor, where the zero degrees is, matches one of the rays of the angle. So we've slightly rotated our protractor here to the right, and you can see that we're matching one of the rays so that it coincides with a zero on the protractor. In this case, the zero is on the outside. So what we need to do is match up the outside numbers with the other ray of the angle. In this case, the angle is approximately 141 degrees as shown in the green oval shape. To measure a reflex angle, we need to keep in mind that that angle is larger than 180 degrees and it's shown here in the light blue. So it won't actually fit on the protractor that we've got to measure the angle. The first thing we do as per normal is to make sure that the vertex of the angle matches the centre of the base of the protractor. What we then do is we rotate the protractor around so it matches one of the rays of the angle. And that means that that ray of the angle needs to align with zero degrees on one side of the protractor. In this case, the zero is on the outside of the protractor. We then use the numbers on the outside of the protractor to measure in a clockwise direction until we find where the next ray of the angle is. We can see here this occurs at approximately 134 degrees. But to find the reflex angle, what we need to do is subtract 134 degrees from 360. That leaves us with a final answer of 226 degrees.